Well, right now, the intense manhunt for the suspect responsible for killing at least 18 people continues in Maine. NBC's Alice Barr has been busy tracking the latest in law enforcement search in. Shares the details. An urgent manhunt by flashlight overnight as law enforcement surrounded the last known address of suspected mass murderer Robert Card. It's just one area of intense focus, and until he's found, tens of thousands remain under shelter-in-place orders. Please stay at home and be safe. Multiple victims for an active shooter in the town of Wilson. Card is suspected of killing at least 18 people and injuring 13 more in a Lewiston bowling alley and a nearby restaurant and bar. Survivors describing the terror. I just booked it um, down the lane and I slid basically into where the pins are and climbed up in the machine and was on top of the machines for about 10 minutes until the cops got there. Grief-stricken families can't begin to describe the loss. The world lost a great girl and I lost a precious daughter. A family member of the 40-year-old suspect says he struggled recently with acute mental health issues. Card is a longtime Army reservist, and officials tell NBC News he threatened a military base and was sent by his own commanders to a mental health facility in July. That the yellow flag log should have been triggered. Authorities looking into why he still had possession of an assault-style rifle as the community reels from Maine's worst mass murder in history. The number of homicides in a single night approaching what the state usually sees in a year. Now a lifetime of heartbreak for each victim taken. As investigators look for a motive in this terrible act, they do have one significant clue, a note found at the suspect's home. Officials saying they're trying to analyze exactly what that note means and how it could guide their investigation. In Lewiston, Maine, Alice Barr, NBC News.